What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, and I'm back at it with another banger night in today's video. I will be showing you guys the fastest way to get all of your shooting upgrades in NBA 2K20. Now, as you guys see, I got all of my shooting upgrades. I got it matched. I had, uh, I get 22 and I got all 22 of them, as you guys see right here. But look, man, let's get into this. So, first thing first, you is going to need quick draw. And range is standard. I don't care if it's silver. I don't care if it's gold. I don't care if it's Hall of Fame. You need both of these badges, bro. Both of them to be at least silver, gold, or Hall of Fame. It don't matter, but you're going to need both of these badges. Now, you might can slide without these badges. I mean, you probably just got to put boost on your jump shot. But you probably can slide without them. But I would recommend you having both of these badges, all right? Alright, so after you uh got them badges or after you put boost on your jump shot, whatever, bro. Alright, you want to go to your settings. So, alright. So you want to go over here to your settings. I don't know why my game froze. But for the game difficulty, you want to put it on pro. And the quarter length, you want to put on 12 minutes. Now, all the points you guys saw me getting in the beginning of the uh, of this video, I was playing on pro. I was getting 18K from pro, 20K from pro. You feel me? I got all of my upgrades in one through two days, and I wasn't even grinding career heavy. So, I recommend playing on pro, and a lot more shots go in on pro, all right? So, after you did all that, it is one last thing you guys is going to need, and it is, it is a size-up package, all right? So, the size up package you guys is going to need is Kobe Bryant. As you see right here. Size up package, make sure you got Kobe Bryant. Make sure you got on a jump shot you good with. And make sure you have a dribble pull up that you is good with. Alright? So, after you got all this stuff out the way, you ready to go to your uh, career game, bro. So, I'm going to start up a career game right now. And just show you guys the method. Now, for this method. You plan on pro, so it's going to be a lot easier. I would not. You can try this on Hall of Fame and see do you get. Well, I know you're going to get more points. But you guys got to think, this go by shot percent. So if you miss a lot of shots, bro, you ain't going to get that many points. Cause I, I did this method on Hall of Fame before. I haven't did this after they fit shooting. I did this before they fit shooting. And I was getting like 10K on Hall of Fame. And I was like, what? So I couldn't go on Hall of Fame, bro. Even after they fit shooting, I still did not touch Hall of Fame, man. So I recommend you guys doing this on Pro just to be safe because it's no way you can mess up your shooting percentage on Pro. If you mess up your shooting percentage on Pro, bro, I, I don't know what can help you, bro. Like, this is Pro. How can you mess up on Pro? You feel me? But look, man, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, look, you going to want to call screens, bro. And 2K made the AI so dumb this year. Like, sometimes when you call screens, they back off of you. And you, you is able to pull up for a shot and green it consistently, bro. All right, so look. Whenever we get in the game, I will show you guys what I mean, all right? So, I'm going to show you guys probably, like, four times on what to do. And, yeah, that's it. Because if I show you guys, like, the end of the gameplay, I won't get no points towards my shooting because it's maxed out. So I'm just, I'm better off just showing you guys what to do, all right? So look, man, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section. So after you get the ball, call for a quick isolation, all right? Come to one of the wings, call for a quick iso. So after you call for an iso, call for a screen, all right? So as you see, look at the dude who holding me. You see how he all up on me? You want to flick up on the right analog and do that Kobe Bryant move right here. So up on the right analog, do the Kobe Bryant move, go toward the screen, and just fade. That's all you guys want to do, bro. Now, you guys are probably saying, bro, you just missed. You guys, you 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 are not going to make everything. You feel me? Even though it's on pro, you still ain't going to make everything. You're going to miss. But on pro, it have a higher chance of going in. You guys just going to see. Just watch these last three times, all right? So you're going to call for the ball. If this team, all right. Now you want to come to a wing, call the ISO. Call for a screen. As you see, he playing me close. Wrap around the screen. Fade. Green. It's that simple, bro. Like, you is not going to miss all of them. Now, sometimes they will, uh, the AIs, they will play back off of you and give you space. Now, if that ha that might not happen in this gameplay, but if that happened to you, you shoot. You got to pay attention to the dude who is guarding you, bro. If he playing you up close and you feel like he too close, go, uh, flick up on the right analog, do that Kobe Bryant move, run around the screen, fade. It's that simple, bro. You feel me? Do what everybody doing that part. Run around screens and fade. 
If they giving you space, shoot. <laughs> like, it's that simple, man. So I'm going to show you guys two more times. I'm trying to let them score, but they ain't trying to score. There you go. All right, now look. You just want to get the ball, call for a screen over here, all right? And they will start double-teaming you, so I would recommend just passing the ball and calling for it right back. So look, call for a screen right here. All right, all right, here go the animation. So you want to call for a screen, and I lose the ball. Like, bro, 2K animations is weird this year, y'all. But look, I'm going to show you guys two more times, though. I just, it's just a lot of unwanted animations in this game, bro. Like, they made me crab this man mid-range. Like, like, what? So look, call for an ISO. As you see, look how close he's playing on me, bro. Call for a screen after you call for the ISO. Do the Kobe Bryant move, wrap around the screen, and just fade. Green. Like, it's that simple. Now, sometimes they won't be on you like this. They won't be all on you like that. Sometimes they're going to give you a little bit of space. And when they give you that space, then when you fade, as you guys see, bro. And, oh, yeah, another badge. I forgot. Another badge, put on difficult shots. Now, what I'm hearing is difficult shots do not work for uh, fading threes. I don't know if that's true or not. I hope it's not true. But if, diff if difficult shots do not work for fading threes, you don't even need difficult shots if, if that's the case for this method. As you see, look, they got me cramming this man for no reason. So call for an ISO, call for a screen, do the cover Brian move, come around the screen, and shoot. Like, it's that simple. I mean, you guys probably can time your shot a little bit better than me or probably green light it, bro. Like, it's all based on you. You feel me? Dang, that boy grab block that. Hold on. <laughs> but look, I'm going to show you guys one more time. Quick ISO, call for a screen. Do the Kobe Bryant move. As you see, look how far he's playing back. That's when you shoot it. Like, you got to look at who is guarding you. When they playing back, shoot. If they playing you up too close, wrap around the screen and fade. <laughs> like, it's that simple, bro. And if you want to, you can put on flexible release. So that way, uh, if you fade and, like, your meter bounce back or you mistime it by a little bit, it'll still go in. All right? So, I'm going to show you guys two more times. Because, bro, this is so easy, bro. Like, this is all you guys have to do in order to get your bat, your shooting upgrades in this game. Like, it's so easy getting the upgrades, bro, to the point where it's just, man. I mean, at first, I was struggling. If you don't have a method, of course, you're going to struggle. You feel me? So, look, quick ISO. Call for a screen. Flick up on the right and allow the screen coming. As you see, he playing me close. Flick up. Fade. Green. I'm going to show you guys one more time. We're going to end this video here, man. Like, it's that simple, bro. Like, this method is so easy. And I was thinking about making a pure sharpshooter. But I'm falling in love with my play sharp, bro. You guys going to see some gameplay soon, man. I'm falling in love with this build. So, I'm going to show you guys one more time. And, hey, man, I'm going to leave everything else up to you guys. I hope you guys was able to get all your badges masked out. So, look. Call for a quick ISO. Call for a screen. Pay attention to how he guarding you. You see he guarding me close? All right, so look. You see how he guarding me so close? You just want to call for another screen. The screen run away. Do the cover move. Wrap around. Fade. It going gonna, it gonna to either miss or go in, bro. One or the other, man. But you want to try to make most of your shots, though. That's what I would say. And you're going to want to try to make most of them just because, like, your upgrade is based off your shooting performance. Like, your shooting percent. So you want to try to make at least some of them, like, not some of them, at least majority of them. Like, you can miss a couple here and there, bro. Because some games, I was shooting, what, 20 through 35, 20 through 38. Like, bro, I was shooting, like, I mean, I wouldn't say I was shooting bad, but, like, I was missing a couple shots, and I was still able to get, like, 17K, 18K. Like, you just got to shoot, bro. You can't miss too many, as you see. At the top right, it say I'm shooting 63%. I would recommend trying to shoot 60% and up, bro. Try to aim for 60% and up. All right? So, I'm going to show you guys one more time, man, just to make sure you guys got it down pat before y'all leave this video. So, quick ISO. Just come to one of the wing. Quick ISO. Call for a screen. As you see, he guarding me close. You want to do the cover move, wrap around the screen. Fade. It's that simple. I hope this video helped you guys out, man. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment down below, and I will try my best to get with you guys. But, hey, man, it's been your boy, Jay, and I'm out. Peace.